guys, it's Aiden here. Welcome back to another episode of the Canadian Vlog. I've completely forgot what episode this is already. I haven't really uploaded in a while. One B term has been a bit busy, to say the least. Well, a bit busy would be a bit of an understatement. Incredibly busy. But right now, it's actually July 22nd. This is a Saturday. And we're almost finished with the term. So I'm figuring we, it's only fair that I make a video that shows you just what the average day is like for me. And yes, I'm still in CMH like you saw last time, but at this time I'm back, I'm on a different floor. Room, honestly, it looks the same as before. I configured it in the same layout as it was. Only difference is I've just, some of the photos over there, I just, I updated those. So nothing very much different there. And I'm actually watching Mission Impossible in three hours. But honestly, I'm hungry. So let's go get some food first. <laughs> And actually something I did not show you all back in, in March. I really should have vlogged the unboxing of this, but look what I got myself. iPad. So this is a, so this is an iPad Pro, so the ones where you use Face ID to unlock, and it has an M1 in it. So it's actually as powerful as my MacBook in that respect, which is really nice. So like I figured it was about time to move towards iPad more. So what I'm doing now mainly is I do I still use notebooks and whatnot for taking notes, but when it comes to doing practice problems, doing assignments, like especially a lot of math stuff because there's a lot of math stuff in this one B term. I use my iPad for that. It's pretty pretty convenient if you ever ask me. And yeah, the refresh rate 120 hertz on this thing, which is even better. So now I'm actually gonna quickly get to work and do so finish up some assignments real quick. So just a quick snapshot on what I'm doing. This is our one EC140. This is our linear circuits, and we're just doing assignments. These are just for practice. They're not these assignments don't need to be handed in. But essentially, we're deal we're doing AC circuit analysis at the end now. So you actually need to model with complex numbers, which is where this comes from. And it's a bit it's, it's pretty interesting. I enjoy this course a lot, but it it does get hectic because working with complex numbers can get a little bit annoying, especially when doing division like that. So I do need to use things like Wolfram Alpha. And I'm just going through my so the solutions right now to make sure that I have the right answer. So it does get a bit annoying, but honestly, not that bad overall, if you ask me. Just take a look at this. The weather is pretty good today. 25 degrees, pretty comfortable. Now I'm heading over to the Fairview Park Mall. And so it's down south in Kitchener. It's the main one in Kitchener compared to the one in Conestoga. I'm going to the Simplex there to watch Mission Impossible. So we're going to head there right now. It's about 30 minutes from here with the Ion. So I'll see you guys there then. Okay, just got off the Ion. Right behind us is Fairview. I haven't been here in quite a while, actually. We look behind us and it's just right over the street. So we still have 15 minutes until actual show time begins. So we're making good time. The weather's quite nice today. This is when you're in a race, the cockpit nice. is gonna be a Just finished, two hours, 40 minutes. What I will, all I, all I will say is I quite like it. You know, Tom Cruise at whatever he is, he's what, 60, 64, and he's still doing these stunts. Is, is crazy to say the least. Pretty good, I'm good. Let's head back now. So on the way back, I actually decided to have a proper dinner. So I went to this ramen shop in Uptown Waterloo called Kinton Ramen. It's a pretty nice place. Got a drink first, lemonade, and then a sukimin. So it's a kind of noodles where you, instead of having a soup broth, you dip it into it. I found that this broth to be a bit on the salty side, but it was overall pretty nice. And it's very flavorful, so once you mix all the radish in, the noodles here are really great. I have to say, like they're just they're chewy and they're just about firm in the right texture. The dumplings are, I would say, are very fusion in flavoring and the sauces. But overall, it's a pretty good bowl of ramen, said if you ask me. And then I took the e scooter back because I was testing them out. Pretty nice to use, actually. Now it's 11 p.m. Oh, honestly, my plan is I'm just gonna do some. I'm gonna edit this vlog as he speaks to so just make some progress throughout the week, and then I'm heading to bed. And tomorrow, I'm just gonna grind through some work because I have a quiz on Tuesday that's worth grades for our economics class. I hate that class so much, but I have no choice for release. So I guess I'll see you guys on Monday then. Well, the day is Tuesday. This is slightly annoying. I was supposed to have two interviews today, but one of the companies rescheduled on me last minute to tomorrow, 10:30 in the morning. It was supposed to be today, 10:30 in the morning on, on Tuesday. But they were scheduled without even telling me. They sent me the Zoom, sorry, the Microsoft Teams link, and then it was showed Wednesday, which is confusing to me because I said Tuesday because I have something going on tomorrow morning. So th this is not going well so far. But the interview I had, I'd say it went well so far. It's for IT field technician position. I'd say it went okay for the most part. I mean, all the ones I've been getting so far. This one's based in Mississauga. The other two. The interviews tomorrow are both based in Ottawa, so that would mean I have to relocate all the way to Ottawa for the co-op term, which will be interesting, to say the least, if that does happen. 
but nothing's really uncertain at the next point. I'll show you guys some clips later on for just like what class looks like. So good morning everyone. Today is Wednesday now, so I'm just heading over to Engineering 5 for tutorial sessions. Today is a really busy day. The gear will go inside here. Then you have beads going in and the gear is spreading the beads are falling. Yeah, so I was saying tutorial session first thing right now, but I don't have all the time to finish it. I only have 45 minutes to finish it because remember the last minute interview rescheduling. So I have that. Then after now, I'm just going to chill for a bit in my room. And then I have another interview going on at, at 12 p.m. with the National Research Council. And then it's just a full day of lectures from 12.30 to 6 for you which is gonna be a little bit annoying but you know that's just the average day for me on wednesdays tuesday wednesday thursdays in particular so i'll see you there all right one thing down now for interview okay made it back with five minutes to spare that's good i actually picked myself up a coconut water from the vending machine downstairs yeah i've always loved coconut water now five minutes so and, and then we will just have to start up my computer set up my mic stand and as you can see my, my mv7 with the boom arm I got from the for the offices here now is also much more convenient like that. I have to deal with this when I move out of here, but that's for an, that's for another day. Now and get into the interviews, then it's lunch, and then second interview. I really want the National Research Council one so badly. I think it went pretty well. I would say better than I expected to be honest. My impressions going into this company were a bit eh, at first, but I think it's gotten better. But I'm still not sure what I'm gonna rank this though. So I really do have to have a think about that. Now, time to chill, get and then lunch, and then next interview. All right, heading to class now. So first up, electricity and magnetism. Then discrete math, but I'm skipping that because of the interview today. Uh, then it's linear circuits, economics, a power break, then digital circuits. So I'll see you guys then. $8,000. But that will show that that can be captured to another coin, and you can call it as a neutral inductance. Do not, do not hand, plus Z hand, sign omega T. Alright, flash cut times 136, 4 minutes until my next interview again, National Research Council. I hope this one goes well because I really do want this position out of the stuff I did get an interview this time on Waterloo Works. For leading. This word, as I told you before last time, very important. They make a big difference, as we'll see. So from the word leading, it means that load is capacity. And S is of opposite sign. Final exam for 2016. Uh, guys, uh, there are both the final exams for 2020 and 2021. These are difficult final exams because they were offered online. They are take home exams for 24 hours or something. So. It's raining. Luckily, I think it's getting worse. This is not good. Time to run back. In retrospect, weather is not that bad right now. It'll probably get worse. This better not aim Wait, towards us. Wait, how the fuck? Wait, sing something. <laughs> Try to speak high with the helium. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Come here. And we are down the inter files. The inter is 1.5 Henry. So this is 1500, That is the ideal value of the I'll flip eventually. Okay. So we're going to get the expected value of the payout of the game. Yeah? And on average, we would expect to win money if we paid less than the expected payout. Do we agree with that? Yeah? That's what, on average, that's how much money I win. Okay, so the probability of getting exactly n heads in a row and then a tails is 0.5 to the n plus 1. So, to get zero heads, the first flip has to be tails, 50% chance, yeah? To get one heads, I have to get a heads and then a tails. 
All right, time is currently 3 p.m. and I'm just walking over to a, a, prof a physics professor's office hours. It's actually the professor for the other section, but I do, I go to both sections office hours just to get some insights from the professors for things like, you know, what you might expect for the final exam, just asking general questions. And the other section's prof is also really good, so I do go to her. She's very well, much approachable and she doesn't mind like, helping both sections. So now I'm just walking over there from E5 right now because her office is in the physics building. So I'm just going there right now to ask her some questions. I think at least the good thing about the buildings is getting around here. So even in the winter, if there's heavy snow or something, you can see I'm, I'm currently on these bridges. These bridges and tunnel system connect a large majority of the buildings. So I can go from one of the further east side engineering buildings and go all the way to the physics building, which is like near in the middle or west side campus. Or I can go all the way to the west side where the SLC and the sports center is. So it's actually very convenient. I'm not entering EC office area, so I should probably be quiet. I get this feeling. I wanna run away. Hit the highway and never look back. I wanna watch it fade away in the rear view mirror. Won't get lost cause I've been really off track. Why is that? Because if you look here. This is a zero, this is an Okay, that final lecture you just saw, that was actually two hours long because the pro because it was technically, we had a makeup lecture and he wanted to go through some of, like a final exam practice before our final exam next Friday. He's a really good prof, so this is ECE 124 Digital Circuits. He's an excellent professor in, in my eyes. And now I'm back in my room in five minutes, I have a meeting with someone. Uh, so I'm an engineering ambassador, so I do something called Eng Chats, where I basically can talk with prospective students who sign up to do chats, and I can give them insights into you know, what student life is, and like, you know, admission procedure, and tips and advice, and that kind of thing. So it's pretty fun to do. So you can do tours, chat, and because my last co-op was with the Dean of Engineering, the Faculty of Engineering Dean's office, it makes it quite quite convenient to just know your connection like that actually. So yeah, in general, I really do suggest helping out uh, uh, if you have free time, just so you know, it's some, it's nice to do on the side. So. I have that meeting now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, today's been a broad, rather interesting day. You can see I'm wearing this Engineering Ambassador t-shirt. I was doing a tour today, and then just after that, I had a video shoot I was doing. So I was, so it was like for marketing undergrad recruitment, and uh, yeah, flying drones in the CMH lobby was rather interesting. Like, I think I'm gonna see that video on their channel sometime late August, September, so in socials, that's gonna be nice. Right now, I just got, I just got some food, then I'm gonna get to work just going through any content from today, and just, I've finished so many assignments, and then it's on to exam revision. First exam is next Friday, so wish me luck. So the things I've been filming, I've been showing you kind of like the average week, average day of an engineering student, some of the things you see me doing other than lectures and stuff, just having our fun every once in a while. As you can see, it is absolutely possible. It is rough at times, but I would say it's manageable in my opinion. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe or leave a like down below. And uh, stay tuned for future vlogs. Next vlog is probably me heading back home. So you'll see that. I don't know when that will be. But that's going to be around after exams. So I'll see you guys then. See ya.